Have you heard of dogs pulling carts with machine guns through the trenches of World War I? This full-sized replica comes from a museum in Belgium, near the town of Liege. In 1914, German artillery partially destroyed the Fort de la Seine, killing over 300 soldiers when a powder magazine exploded. You can still visit the ruins of the fort and monuments to those who were killed. There is also a small museum which, according to its website, is focused on World War I history with displays of uniforms, personal items, weapons, a letter from a German general, and more. And you can see the dogs, muzzled and pulling a cart with a water-cooled machine gun on its tripod, as if ready to be quickly set up and fired. The background for dogs carting machine guns is described in the 1915 book Dogs of All Nations by Walter Esplin Mason. The breeding of dogs for draft purposes has long been in vogue in Belgium for the purpose of conveying farm produce from the country into towns. Dog traction is employed by the country people, milkmen, bakers, greengrocers, and many artisans with light carts in conducting their trade and business. There are reckoned to be 50,000 dogs available for this purpose in Belgium, of which 10,000 are in Brussels alone. They are found to be admirably suited for the purpose. Their bodies are thick-set, loins strong, and they have deep chests and muscular limbs. Moreover, as the dog does not require shoes, lameness is rare, which we well know from the enormous distances he can go when hunting. The article Dogs at War by Nicholas Mignon further explains, At the start of the 20th century, draft dogs were one of the main images that foreigners had of Belgium and the Netherlands. Many French, German, and British postcards focused on the exotic nature of Belgium illustrate vehicles drawn by dogs, generally milk carts, with the characters behind shown in traditional clothing, against the backdrop of windmills or other buildings. Sometime before or at the start of World War I, exhaustive trials between pack horse transport and that of wheeled traction by a pair of dogs of a breed known as the Belgian Mastiff resulted in favor of the latter, and the final adoption of this mode of transport for the machine gun units of the Belgium Army. The four wheels of the little gun carriage are made of tubes of steel, light, low, and stable, and fitted with pneumatic tires. The carriage complete does not weigh more than 200 pounds and is easily dragged by the team of two dogs. A dog of 110 pounds weight is capable of drawing on a road a load of 880 pounds. With an average load of 600 pounds behind the team on good roads, a dog can keep up for long distances a pace of four or five miles an hour. The dogs gained without doubt in mobility and speed over the horses, especially when ditches, hedges, and low walls had to be negotiated. The teams crossed with ease, plowed land and crops, copses and banks. The smallest fold in the ground concealed the teams, and at 300 yards distance, nothing of them could be distinguished. Coming into or out of action was more rapidly affected than in the case of pack horses. The regiments to which they were attached had three sections, each of two guns and four ammunition carts, requiring 36 dogs for the 18 vehicles. In action, the dogs gave every satisfaction, and whilst halted in positions of readiness for often considerable periods, they lay down quietly, waiting in their harness. In coming into action, they had sometimes to creep on in front, accompanied by the team driver of each gun, in order to choose their positions in actions. At a signal, the teams moved quickly up into the emplacements when, the detachments having brought the guns into action, the empty carriages with their drivers proceeded to the rear and rejoined the ammunition carts under cover. The trials indeed were so successful that orders were issued to erect, for all infantry regiments, kennels for a dozen dogs per unit, and at Beverloo, a training establishment for these dogs was to be formed. And so, man's best friend added his efforts and sacrifices 
to one of the most devastating wars in human history. Did the war dogs actually serve under fire? Apparently, yes, because the caption for this image from the Imperial War Museum identifies these soldiers as exhausted men and dogs of a Belgian machine gun section resting by the roadside in Louvain during the retreat to Antwerp, 20 August 1914. I'm sure some people will be unhappy that dogs and horses were brought into these war zones. All I can say is, those species have thrived because of thousands of years of friendships with people. They've been with us through good times and bad times, which is what makes them such great friends. The good news is, if you want to own your own war dogs carting machine guns, you can purchase miniatures of them online. Links in the description below. Thank you for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel for new videos every week or two, and see the description below for a list of online resources.